Well, good morning. Welcome back to the Old Buck Ranch. This morning, this project is developing color film. Uh, this is something I've never done before, so this is uh, uncharted territory. But I've been doing a lot of research, and I've you know, found quite a few videos on YouTube that shows how to do it. And also found um, this kit from a company called Cinesteel. It's got all the chemicals um, that you need to mix in order to develop color film at home. And I shot some video of that earlier. But uh, this is kind of a new deal, and I'm just going to give it a shot and see how it turns out. I've been shooting a lot of film lately and have started shooting color film. I bought this old uh, Nota Autocord uh, TLR. It's a twins lens reflex camera. And I'll probably shoot a video on this later, but this is what I've been using. And it shoots medium format film, and this is what a roll of color uh, medium format film looks like. It's, it's a 120 format. And it's, I think it's a two and a quarter by two and a quarter square image. And one roll will shoot 12 exposures with this camera. So, so that's what I've been doing. And I've got a roll that I shot uh, yesterday of just various subjects. And that's what I'm going to do today. Hopefully it turns out. And uh, if, if so, I'll show you the results later. If not, you won't ever see this video. But here we go. Okay, one of the big differences between developing black and white film and color film is the temperature that you have to get the chemicals up to. For black and white film, it's typically about 68 to 70 degrees. But with color film, uh, you have to get the chemicals up to 102 degrees Fahrenheit. So what we've got going on here is I bought this Cinesteel um, immersion heater that clips onto this... Uh, what I call a, a foot washer and it is designed to bring the temperature of the water in the bath up to whatever temperature you want it to be and then you just you put your chemicals in there and eventually they will rise to the to the temperature that you're desiring as well so it takes a few minutes but it's a pretty neat way of you know getting your temperatures to the right amount um, you know, not a lot of guessing or back and forth with heat and water and all of that. So that's what we're doing here. And I'm just going to wait until it gets up to 102 degrees before I start. Okay, I'm just about up to the temperature that I need. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to get a little bit of this warm water out of here. And I'm going to do like a pre-bath on my film just to kind of get it up to temperature. Set for a minute or two. Okay, I'm just about ready, so I'm gonna pour out this water. It's kind of interesting that the water is a different color. But... All right, so I'm at the temperature I need to be, 102 degrees. I got my timer ready. Basically, I'm just pouring it until it starts coming up to the top so that I know um, that it's full. And so basically, it says to agitate for the first 10 seconds and then four inversions every 30 seconds thereafter. range of 102, not exactly, so. Okay, got about 30 seconds left. Okay. 
take it for the first 30 seconds or so, or 10 seconds. seconds I'll be done with the books. it out seven times and then I'll add the rinse agent as the final step. Kind of a moment of truth, I'm going to just take a sneak peek to see how it turned out. See if there's any images on the on the film. I'll be darned, there it is. That's pretty cool. Success. So I'm just gonna roll this back down and and then uh, rinse it out with the rinser, rinsing agent. Okay, the final step is just to use the rinsing solution and you know let it uh, set you know for about a minute or so. And what this does is it kind of um, creates a, a barrier on the film that helps prevent water spots from accumulating. So, we just kind of let that soak for about a minute and it'll be done. All right, that's about a minute. sure if I can set the camera up here in a second to show you so you can see what's on here but I'm going to give it a shot. Yeah, it looks like it's turned out nice. Now whether the pictures are exposed properly or any of that we'll see. But they look, look pretty good from here. off any excess water. It's designed for this. It doesn't scratch the negatives, which is the key. So I'm going to try to reset the camera so you can see this a little better. So I'm not sure if that's going to show up or not. But I'm going to take this into the bathroom here in a second and dry it rather than dry it in here. Hopefully that'll show on the, on the video. Alright, well I'm done. I'm just going to let it dry now for a couple hours and then cut them and start scanning them.